Hey, Steve here, and welcome to another episode of Monday Guitar Motivation. Now, today I'm not actually playing guitar. What I want to talk to you about, and just so you know, I'm not in the office today, so I pre-recorded this, so hello, and thank you everybody for being here. Um, what I want to talk about is making recordings of things that you've memorized in your life, okay? There was a time in my life when I was younger that I literally could kind of remember everything. I could remember everybody's phone numbers, um, you know, I had like 300 different guitar magazines and I, I'm not even kidding you. I could remember which songs were in which, uh, which, you know, month and year of, of these guitar magazines and playing in a bunch of bands. It was easy to remember everything. And then <laughs> something happened and it just wasn't easy anymore. It's like my brain overloaded or I got too old. I'm not sure what it was, but you know, and, and so we use, you know, sheet music. Maybe you're, you know, you're, you're notating things and remembering it that way, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. What I find with notation, though, is a lot of times I forget where I put it, or it's in a folder, or I, I can't access it from, you know, if I'm, I'm on the road, or I'm, you know, at home or something, and I'm not at my studio, then I can't get to my paperwork. And, and it's not that I still don't write it down, because obviously I, I still write things down. But the most important thing is, if you can, is to just start making videos of things that you're working on. And then that way, whenever you need to come back to it, if it's not something that you do constantly, like if you play in a band and you play three nights a week or four nights a week or something and you're always playing the material, you're probably just fine. But if you're like me and you do a lot of different things, it's very easy to, to spend a lot of time memorizing something and then you don't do it for a while and you come back and go, how did that go again? So the the life hack that I'm giving you today is to back up your memories, back up your song memories, um, you know, any rehearsals that you've got, things like that. So let me show you something. So I've got a folder on my uh, computer that I can access remotely wherever I'm at. And what I do is I make videos of songs. So if I'm playing in church and it's something that we not may not play again for a long time, I just make a video of me playing it. It's not that it has to be difficult. It's just, it's way easier for me to watch myself play it and go, oh, there it is. I'm, I'm good. I'm ready to go. Where sometimes when I revisit a song I haven't played in a long time, you know, I'll sit and think about it in my head and go, well, did I play it here? Or how did I play that little riff? Or, you know, and I'll kind of forget how I did it. If I, and sometimes when I write it down, it's perfectly fine. But there are times when I write things down, I might be writing it really quick or writing it in shorthand, and then I don't really remember what the heck I was trying to tell myself. So if I watch the video, it usually just takes one run through of watching the video and go, oh, there's there's what I was thinking. Um, and then maybe I'll update it with a new video if I thought of something else, like maybe I changed the solo or something, and then I'll delete the old one and keep the new one. So I'll do that for lots of different things. Right now, what, what brought this to mind is I'm gonna be doing a, um, I'm, I'm playing for a musical in, in uh, my local, local town where I live, and there's a lot of material. And so what I do is I try and figure out what the guitar parts are and how I'm gonna play whatever. And because there's so much material, I don't wanna get overwhelmed you know, trying to remember it all, so it's easier for me just to make videos, and that's what I wanna show you. So if we go here, this is my main uh, folder where I keep some of this stuff. Now I have a lot of other stuff you know, in this back folder here, but just to kind of show you. So for instance, if I go to band files, these are some of the bands that I try and keep track of. So for instance, I play in this uh, Judas Priest tribute band called Electric Eye. So I will make videos, you know, I have tabs and things like that too, and set lists and stuff, but I'll make videos of things. So Painkiller, there's, you know, the, the video of me playing through Painkiller. Uh, here's some solo ideas for painkiller. So if I come back to it and go, well, how was I doing the solo? Well, I can watch this and get some ideas of what I was thinking. You know, different kinds of things like that. So here's most of the videos. Here's tabs in case I need to find that, you know, a tab and, and look something up maybe for whatever reason for reference. And then, you know, I might, uh, you know, I play in another band with a gentleman by the name of Lance King. So here's a bunch of stuff that I have of, of Lance, you know, some show stuff, and then old videos that I did for some of the songs, and then some new takes on some of the videos that I did. And, you know, just different kinds of things like that, but I keep track of everything. So I have a miscellaneous, where's my miscellaneous stuff here? Oh, here. So for instance, um, I'm doing this Rock of Ages thing that I just mentioned. So, you know, this is where I start trying to keep all my thoughts on how I'm playing things, 
and I'll keep all of that in there. So there's just lots of different different things that I do keeping my original stuff, but I have another folder with all that stuff in there. And so if that makes sense, again, not a big deal, but just remember that because we have video, it doesn't need to look great. It doesn't need to sound great. It's just you need to be able to see you and then reference that video, and it, it saves you a lot of time in trying to remember how things go. You know, again, if you're learning a lot of songs for a lot of different projects and things, it's really nice to just be able, if you spent the time figuring it out, just make a video of yourself playing it. And even if it's not perfect, you know, even if you make a mistake here and there, it doesn't matter. It's just for your reference. And, you know, even making that mistake might remind you going, oh, yeah, that's that part that, you know, I always screw up on. Well, now you remember that because you saw yourself playing it. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great week. Uh, Take care and I'll talk to you soon again. Okay.